Yo, what up? It is the 13th of May, 2024, and it's currently 10.41 p.m. on Monday. And we have some mail. A little bit of mail, actually. From Tom Nook, from Cube, and from Mother. I forgot to take the price tag off my new shirt. I didn't notice until the end of the day. That's nice. Not nice enough, though. <laughs> it's a good sentiment, though. Is this the Mother's Day letter? Yeah, I'll keep that one. And this Tom Nook one's, yeah. Yes, I did send Cube a letter yesterday because I wanted to give him a nice bit of a, a, a jukebox, actually. But he's looks like he's mailed me back. Your letters inspire me. So does Candy. Here's your share. Please take it. What did he give me? A wooden box. Don't need a wooden box, but that's nice. Oh yeah, I didn't open my... Second, which this is just an A shirt because Tangy was asking for one, so uh, when Tangy shows up, I'm going to pester her until she uh, once again requests for the A shirt. But let's go straight to the um, shop, considering it's pretty close to 11 and I don't want to miss them. And it is! Red should be here! I mean, I got his leg yesterday, so we should be here. So we'll uh, be going to him as well. I also got, I have some stuff to sell. Because I, um, haven't sold stuff in a while, I guess. Oh, is this a trash can? It is a trash can. I don't need it. <laughs> I'm just curious. Hmm... What the hell are you? Is this Wobblina? It is Wobblina. Do I need Wobblina? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I do not. <laughs> you know, I don't need any of this stuff. Unless I need the giant Dharma. Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's go to Able Sisters then. Oops, water the door. Classic maneuver. Any new clothes today? Oh, I got a weird looking hat. A Tyrolean hat. I believe I had this already. There's only a few hats that I don't own. Hmm. I need dressing, hunter's cap, red ribbon, safety helmet, sailor's hat, silk hat, star cap. Of the ones that I can buy. And a crown. I don't know if it said crown, but I need the crown. I already have the royal crown. Which is actually more expensive than the regular crown. Oh, and a blue knit hat. But yeah, the, the regular crown is less expensive than the royal crown. And I already have the royal crown. But the problem is, it costs 1,250,000 bells. Which means it takes you out a lot of money. I might do some uh, turnip shenanigans. Uh... At some point, I, I, I kind of, you know, I need to have bells for certain things. And, you know, um, I mean, I make bells pretty gradually every day, I'd say. But, uh, you know. I mean, I'm sure, you know, with, mo actually, I, you know, a decent idea, which would be quite, you know, it would take quite a while. But you could just like guarantee. Oh yeah, I was supposed to sell stuff. I gotta go back. Uh, you could plant a bunch of money trees every day, every single day, and like almost guarantee getting a money tree. But I, I don't know what the like the right thing to do for that would be. Yeah, that's fair. Let's 
Let's see, yellow tartan, ebony green out piano, spade shirt, metal guitar, floral paper, and a wooden box. I'm gonna keep the A shirt just in case. Oh, well, I mean, I ordered it, that's kind of the whole point. Alright, actually, I'm gonna go straight to Red's as well to see what he's got today. Ah, a bit tired. It's a little late, and I woke up a little early today, I guess. I don't know, I've only been awake for like 12 hours, I guess. Alright, well, let's check what the password is today. Uh, this one? And cheaper. Okay, and cheaper. Oh. And cheaper. Pen is mightier and cheaper. Pens are pretty cheap. And some of these left-handed pens can be pretty annoying. Uh, cause, you know, depending on what kind of pen they are, they can smudge very easily. And, with right-handedness, because you, you know, write, at least in English, you write from left to right, you don't smudge very often. Saddle fence? Saddle fence. Oh, I do need a saddle fence. Strange. They changed. Oh, they changed the UI for for uh, XL. Everything's got bloody. <sighs> okay, I don't like rounded corners. Like, uh, I mean, if you, I guess yeah, if you use Windows, you probably like know about rounded corners. Um, no, I don't need that. Like, I mean, it's it's pretty self-explanatory. Like rectangles. I think rectangle, rectangular windows on windows, uh, by default now. Oh no, they're not rounded corners. At least on a, not on Windows 10, which is what I use, but, uh, Windows 11 they started using rounded corners on everything. And I, I just don't like it because it makes everything, it makes everything looks too soft. Like, sometimes you need that, that sharpness. Like, YouTube, there's nary a, a <laughs> sharp corner in sight on YouTube's interface now. They've rounded the videos, they've rounded the thumbnails, they've rounded all the buttons, they've rounded all of the the elements, they've rounded, they rounded the profile pictures a, a while ago, they rounded, uh, the goddamn, um, no, I, I think I said everything. I basically covered every single thing. I, I don't know. I don't get what their vendetta against, like, sharp corners are. I guess it's like a... I don't know. I, I hate it. I just... I, it, it, it just annoys me very deeply that when everything is... Oh, fishing county this Sunday. Everyone loves kids. I just ate three. Jesus Christ! What the hell? That's a super morbid message to put in this game. Anyway. Yeah, I just hate... I hate rounded corners on everything, because I just think it makes things look way too, like, soft. It's just, it just annoys me. It's just one of those modern design things that's, like, recently come into fashion and now is just everywhere. And now Windows 11 basically just looks like, like a Mac, Mac OS because of all the stuff they've done to make it look exactly like the Mac. The Mac. <laughs> Have you visited another town before? Yep. You have. Living time for a bit reminds me of how much I like it here. That's good. Yeah, but that's just my little thing. I think especially what annoys me... I don't know what especially annoys me about it. It just annoys me in general. I think sometimes it just does make things look worse, though. Don't you think you could make your house a little more fancy? That's just me forcing my opinion. Thanks, you. I mean, I just, I just wish you were allowed to keep using the old interfaces, but they update it because they're like, 
they're trying to keep a brand image up, and that requires that everything updates to, and like, YouTube does it all the time where they update their interface and just make it look worse. Like, they've, they've basically been gradually making YouTube's interface worse since, like, 2016, I want to say. Like, they added that stupid ambient light thingy that you get around videos, which looks really bad. Which, granted, you can turn off, so that's at least a good thing. But I, I recently saw they were rolling out an experimental UI change where they literally... They moved this, so like, I guess if you, on YouTube, if you have, if you're using desktop, then, you know, there's the video, if you're not in theatre mode, then there's the video, and then underneath the video is the comments, and then to the side of the video in the comments is the suggested videos, which, uh, for the past couple of years has been bombarded with shorts and ads. Uh, which makes it pretty ugly, and also a bunch of videos that you don't actually want to watch. Uh, anyway, I, there was an experimental rollout thing they did where they made it so... They basically swapped the comments and the suggested videos. So they put the comments on the side, and then the videos below the video you're currently watching. And it looked really, really bad, and I don't know how they thought anyone would like it. I'm pretty sure they're not going to do it, because... They got overwhelming negative feedback when they were trying to experimentally roll it out. Uh, which, I mean, is more than you, what you can say for, like, Discord, which changed the mobile uh, interface to be completely different from the PC one, where they've added these unnecessary menus. That's a whole different thing. I, j I don't know. It just rubs me the wrong way when, the co when these companies think... They know better than you do on these things, when in reality, I like things the way they are. Maybe I should do something about my out-of-control clothes shopping habit, because I'm totally broke. Do you have any clothes you don't want anymore? If you do, give them to me. All the cool kids call clothes vintage, right? Oh wait, I meant vintage. Anyway, I heard that hipsters are all about vintage stuff. I only have one bit of clothes on me, and that's what I'm going to give to the tangy. So unfortunately, I cannot help you out there, Pee-wee. I guess if I rushed to the clothes store, I'll buy I'll buy Pee-wee something. Hey, Cube. I'll just remember that my I was up to here and the flowers. But yeah, I don't know. I just oh huh oh uh, Winnie. I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Okay, good job, Cube. Yeah, I just you know, and they've done it, there's so many things do it, you know, where they update the uh, interfaces, and it just always bothers me. I mean, I don't, I mean, yeah, I don't, like, change that much, I guess, but sometimes it, they, the, the changes are just, like, actually objectively worse to me. And I just wish they made it easier and simpler to, uh, um you know, switch between. And I mean, the only option I could see for YouTube would be, you'd probably just use extensions on browsers, which is a fine option. I might do that. Cause I'm kind of sick of the way <laughs> the modern YouTube interface looks. Yeah, but that's my little, um, you, my, I guess UI rant. Oh, and yeah, there's so many little trips, like, there's, there's minimalism, which is its own thing. I just, like, I, it's weird, you know, the amount of personality that's lost, uh, this one, by just, you know, trying to make all these interfaces more convenient, but it just makes them, you know, boring sometimes. Kind of depends. I just think, like, you know, if they're going to change a, a, an interface, you'd ass you would assume they're doing it because people want them to. But then every single time they, you know, update them, it seems that they get overwhelming negative feedback. Pretty much every time it's like, for like for YouTube especially, pretty much every time people are either, like, neutral and don't care, or they say they don't like it. Which makes you wonder, why are they doing it? I know that the reason is usually related to profitability, because most of the UI changes they make directly relate to, like, 
the ability to see ads, for example. I just, I don't know, I just think it's really a, it's just a very deep lack of transparency. I'm gonna take one of these yellow roses, because I guess this one got wilted away. But hey, there's an extra yellow pan orange pansy here. And those are a little bit hard to come by. I, oh, oh yeah, Microsoft especially is just in general bad. Like, I hate Xbox. The well, the thing with the Xbox menus is that they'll have, a, like, a menu for a while. And it'll, you'll, you know, it'll get, you'll get settled. You'll, you know, get used to it. And then they'll randomly just completely change where everything is. And it becomes, like, super inconvenient for, like, a month, multiple months. Oh, no, Panga's trying to leave. Do I let Pango leave? Hmm. I did get a picture, didn't I? Did I? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna hang on this, but I'm gonna go check if I have a picture. I'm pretty sure I do. But I will come back to that. But, um, yeah, Microsoft just... I hate, I hate what they do. I hate that. I mean, not, yeah, they, they're in general, like... What, something that I find really stupid is, like, uh, if you're on Steam, for example, every single game has its playtime statistics pretty easy to find to the point that you can sort your game library by the amount of hours you've played. And Nintendo, for to an extent, has that as well. It definitely used to have a better version of it. I think the first time they had any playtime statistics would have been on the Wii, where... After a play session, they get you. Sent, they send a, a thing to your inbox that tells you the amount of playtime you've had for certain games, which, you know, in theory, you could add up to your total playtime, but obviously no one's going to do that because it's very inconvenient. Um, so really the first system where they actually had proper playtime, I believe, was the 3DS and the Wii U, uh, where they had... Like full, I actually did the Wii have it? I think it had it. Well, the 3DS at least had play stats, and that was a really cool app that I I used to check all the time because I like seeing uh, the numbers. <laughs> uh, and that was and that was really good. And then they moved to the Switch, and the Switch downgraded it a bit because they took away unnecessary like apps, uh, and so they consolidated the playtime statistic into, like, a part of the, like, your own, like, um, profile. Which is, like, eh, it's a bit annoying and it doesn't have very specific data outside of the amount of hours you've played. Which doesn't actually start getting shown until after, I think, 10 hours of playtime and after a week of having owned the game. Oh no, after 10 days of having owned the game. And I think maybe after an hour of playtime, or something like that. Which is a bit annoying. Anyway, hey Tangy. Please, please John Mornis, you help me, I'm super panicky. If you find an Asia, hang on to it for me. Oh, there's the, uh... There's the 11pm. Close yourself. Wait, was Antonio in his house? I think so. Here you go. Why are you giving me an A shirt? Wow, you're so super generous. I can't wait to try it on. Wow. A H a HMD? What is a HMD? Is that a hat? Like a helmet? I might ask you for something else later. What is a HMD? Oh, it's the... Okay, yeah, I think I know what this is. It's like the weird goggle thing. Pfizer? I didn't mean to drop it on the ground. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it's this thing. I don't know what this is. I mean, it's a HMD, obviously, but I don't know what that is. Anyway, playtime statistics. I like them. But yeah, so the Switch did it again, but it's not as good as the 3DS, and I kind of wish it was better. But, you know, it's still there. Every game is still there. And I don't know how it is for PlayStation. I'm pretty sure PlayStation has been pretty good with it, but I actually don't know. Um... Never owned a PlayStation system before. But, uh, 
for the on the Xbox they make it really difficult and for some reason even for games where you can see, uh on they rather um not every game has it in fact only few games actually let you see playtime in like the menus of the Xbox which is just really like stupid i don't know why that isn't something they can't just globally track like it's super dumb Man, I was supposed to mail this to it by today. I'm such an idiot. Could you deliver this to Mar no, no, Wait, did, did he say Monique? Or Marina? I think it was Monique. I'll get you. Let me see. Yeah, Monique. Yeah, but I don't know why they've got it like that. It's so annoying. Like, I've spent a lot of time in certain games on Xbox, and I wanted to know how long I played them for, but I'm not allowed to because they just don't... And I, I remember looking it up as to why, and I saw something that suggested that they might do it because they don't want people to be discouraged from playing games more if they find out how long they've been playing for, which sounds really stupid, and I hope that isn't the reason, because that would be a really stupid reason. But, I mean, yeah, probably it's probably something dumb like that. Or they just don't care. It's probably more likely. Wait, what? She's reading this out loud? I've never seen them do this before. You'll find this information very interesting. What? What's that mean? Hmm. You wanna read it? Oh, they, that was on the letter. That's weird. Hey, Flexface. I was working out when I read your letter. Sweaty. The sky is full of possibility. It's like us. Bwahaha. Antonio. Thank you. Such fun to read. Please send Antonio my best. No problem. Yeah, I, do, I just... There's so many things with Xbox that are just so annoying to deal with that I don't really know why anyone would want to make it their primary, like, only game system. Like, you know, 99% of things that are quote-unquote exclusive to Xbox are also on the, you know, on, on a PC. Uh, and whereas, like, Nintendo... Pretty much all the hard hitters are exclusive to Nintendo, which, you know, gives you a pretty good reason. I'd say, between the three big guys, I the consoles guys, uh, you really, I feel like, you know, a piece, I feel like a gaming PC is something everyone should have. It doesn't have to be a great one, just, you know, one. It'd be, it's a good idea. Uh, for multiple reasons. Assuming you care about video games, I guess. If you if you're like an accountant, then you might not need one. Uh, but so in that case, then I feel like really all you need, assuming you're not um acquiring any games through alternative me means, excuse me. Really, I don't see why you would need anything outside of. You know, the PC, the Switch, and maybe the PlayStation. Uh, I'm not as used to what the exclusive on PlayStation are, to be honest. Uh, but it seems like a lot of their big things get put, put onto PC nowadays, so I don't know. So, I don't get... It's like, you know, like... To me, the console wars don't make much sense. Because, you know, they're, uh, all the, these guys are always putting up, putting up their uh, the specs and all this stupid stuff. And sometimes the library, when nowadays most of those games are available on PC anyway, so what's the point? Like, I'm not I'm not PC Master Race in the sense that I'm with any of them, because I find that particular group to be very annoying, especially when, like, obsessing over specs and stuff. But I'm talking purely from, like, a sensical standpoint. There's, like, really no reason to have... Very little reason to have an Xbox or PlayStation. Or oh, specifically Xbox, I'll say. Yeah, Pengo's picture's right there. Now, I'm, I'm, gen I'm pretty biased, obviously, but... At least, at the very least, like, to me, the ranking would be in terms of necessity, not even in terms of overall quality, because you, I, you could probably make your argument for why you wouldn't have a Switch compared to a play PlayStation 5, whatever. But uh, my ranking would be, you know, top would be Switch, second would be PlayStation, and dead last would be Xbox. <laughs> In terms of, like, 
requiring them. Because, you know, if you, if you only had uh, one console, if you only had one game thing in general, then I would just have a PC. If you only have one game console in general and no PC, then, like, I'd say, yeah, Xbox or PlayStation is pretty much a 50-50 split. But if you can have... P if you have a PC and you only have one console, then to me it makes the most sense for that one console to be the one with the most exclusives on it. The most good exclusives on it. Uh, which would be the Switch. I mean, I get it also depends on how, what kind of, like, you know, how many games you play as well. Like, if you don't play a lot of more casually leaning games, then you probably wouldn't care about the Switch at all. But I'm, I'm more speaking in terms of someone like me who's a, a bit more general with the games that I play. And I'm, I'm especially not a particularly online focused person. I like playing, I like playing a lot of single player games. But even then, online, PC online is free, and then consoles, you have to pay for it. So even then, why would you ever, you know, anyway. Uh, here's Brewster. Care for a cup of java to pick you up? It's 200 bells. What blend would you like? The usual? Whatever you say. The note comes one cup of your favorite blend spoon. Whatever you say. Care for a little pigeon milk to put in it? Ooh, I like pigeon milk. Yes, please. You're going to be very pleased. And it goes. So now I have to decide if Pango is going to stay around. <sighs> hmm. Let's drink a coffee over it. There we go. The perfect temperature to bring up a flavor. 176 degrees. One fresh brewed cup. Drink up. Thanks. Be a mild. This can be none other than the world renowned pigeon blend. Thanks. I think I'm going to keep Pango around for now. I mean, anyway, when it comes to consoles, like, in my, in my ideal world, I'd have all of them. <laughs> I just, I really, you know, I like the idea of everything. And like, you know, for, uh, especially with the PlayStation line, I'd love to have one of the older PlayStations, like the 2 or the 3. Mainly the 3, just for the sake of being able to play PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 stuff on that. Uh, not necessarily for the P PlayStation 3's library itself, because I don't think there are too many games I particularly care for on that. But, you know, I've, I've never, like I said, I've never had a PlayStation console, so I've always wanted to... Well, I guess more recently, I've wanted to, I've thought about the idea of having one. And it'd be cool. There's a lot of cool, you know, classic games that are on the PlayStation that I uh, haven't really ever tried out before. And some stuff that's pretty adjacent to, like, um, you know, old Nintendo stuff. Like, oh, you know, a lot of those early PlayStation 1 titles are very reminiscent of N64 games. It's only like Ape Escape comes to mind. I like Crash Bandicoot, which I've played Crash Bandicoot before. I've, I played it through the um, Insane Trilogy, which is like the HD remake of the Crash Trilogy, which is like fine. But I kind of want to play the originals because I think they look... They don't, obviously, they don't look better in terms of graphic fidelity, but I, I like the art styles more. I don't really like the way the, uh, the, the remake looks in terms of like the... The art style on certain things, and I just think it kind of looks a bit ugly in certain places. I'd rather play. I'd rather play the. I, I kind of just want to check the originals out, in that sense. But yeah, there's so many cool stuff on PlayStation. Oh, what should I do? Should I change my mind? Does that count? Hmm. Okay, let me look it up. God, I hate this. Uh, um, but yeah, I mean, when I say, like, oh, uh, it's not worth having a PlayStation, I'm also meaning the PlayStation 5 specifically, because it hasn't really proven itself to have a great deal of really hard-hitting exclusives, or at the very least, not ones that don't end up just, you know, coming to 
PC later anyway. I mean, the last recent thing that I can even remember uh, would be like the new play, the new Spider Man. Uh, let's see, Peppy. Um, oh, well, gee whiz, when you put it that way, what should I do? Should I change my mind? Okay, yeah, she said that. Uh, yeah, but, you know, the more recent PlayStation lineup has not been as impressive in terms of exclusives, but, you know, older systems were really, you know, they hit it out of the park all the time, and some of them, to this day, are still really only accessible through legal means on the, uh, you know, on those consoles. So... I'd say PlayStation's pretty worth it in terms of the historical um, backlog, but I think like modern, uh, modern time, modern times, modern, <laughs> more recent years, they've uh, dropped off a bit. At least from what I've observed. Obviously, like I said, you know, we've established I don't have a have I've never had any of them, but uh, that's what it just seems like from a, an observation standpoint. And now I'm s s screaming all of this into Scoop's ear. <laughs> gonna be it for today. I talked to everyone, didn't I? Let's, uh, let's see. Did I talk to Cube? Yes. Hugh? Yes. Monique? Yes. Tangy? Yes. I gave her a shirt. Peewee? Yes. Didn't give him a shirt. Marina? Did I talk to Marina? I think I... Oh. Pango? I don't think I talked to Marina, did I? Ooh, I gotta go find her. Make it quick. Pretty sure I didn't. Yeah, I'd, I'd, uh, I don't know what I'd, I think, mm, I've had the PlayStation 3 is a bit difficult to deal with in terms of the, like, even the storefront can be very annoying. So I don't know. I mean, I, I think, I, I don't think I'd get a, f a 5. I just don't, like I said, I don't really care for a lot of the more recent stuff. So I think, maybe I'd just go with a 4. But I don't think... I, I need to check the backwards compatibility, because that would be the main uh, bit of uh, point of contention, contention. The main stick uh, that I'd be looking for. Did, is Marina in a house? No. Well, where is she, then? Yeah, but I mean, I guess... You know, in comparison to Nintendo, you'd think it's way less of a headache. And I guess it is, but... Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm used to it. I'm used to the way the way it is here, where, you know, occasionally the next console generation will have the previous console generations as uh, backwards compatible. compatible. Uh, and, you know, sometimes <laughs> it's, it's all up in the air. Sometimes it's all weird. Sometimes the handheld can be played on the, the cons like the current generation console equivalent, like the Super Game Boy and the... Um, Game Boy player. Man, I kind of wish that that sort of thing would have existed for the DS 3DS, but I know that it's, like, basically impossible. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure... I mean, the, D the, the Wii U can play DS games just fine, but by the time the Wii U came out, the DS wasn't, you know, relevant anymore, so there wouldn't have been any point. It, it couldn't... I don't think the Wii U would be able to run 3DS games that well I don't know probably not I'm not too sure so yeah I mean it makes sense I mean nowadays it doesn't have to be a thing at all because of the switch oh and also I guess I didn't mention that they uh, did announce a switch successor they haven't announced it but they've announced the fact that they're going to announce it I should say that's the best way I could describe it like they haven't said anything about it other than that, they're going to announce it within the next fiscal year, which for Japan, I believe, is between now and March of next year. And they're doing it, I think they said they're doing a regular direct in June, which is interesting because I'd be curious as to what they even have left to announce now that they're so close to the end of the Switch's life. In fact, at the end, basically. Monique, would you like to see something? Of course you would. The super weird letter just appeared in my mailbox one day. Monique, a person's abilities are best tested best when defending rather than attacking. That's true. You think it was a practical joke or something else? I kept it because I thought it was kind of funny. 
Did I? Wait, did I talk to Marino? No, I don't think I did. God, this has become a big thing now, hasn't it? Yeah, what was I talking about? Being able to play handheld games on, on consoles. Um, something else. It's like only cube. I'm forgetting what I was saying. Uh, what was I saying? Man. <laughs> that annoys me so much when that happens. Man, I was... Oh, did I miss this? This episode's gonna be 40 minutes just for me trying to look for Marino. And I'm also trying to try and remember what I was thinking about, talking about, even. That's making me angry. Sorry, Cube, I can't. I'm too... I'm too busy. He's, he's chasing after me. Marina's definitely not inside. She's definitely not down here. What was I thinking about? Talking about? Oh, I missed a weed. Mmm. Oh, Tangy's down there. Man, I. I <laughs> makes me so angry. Okay, whatever. I just want to find Marina. Oh, there she is. And she's excited to see me. Listen, I've got some stuff I want to get rid of. Oh, great. You're going to throw your junk on me. What the? No. No, that's a real shame. A bit knife will die from me. All right, I better get moving. Oh, she is moving. Well, thank you, Marina. You extended the episode length by like six minutes. And I made myself mad by not by forgetting what I was talking about <laughs> because of one dialogue coming in between. Oh, that's going to be it for today, actually. You know, and it probably going to turn out that I actually did talk to Marina earlier and I actually forgot. <laughs> that would be the stupidest way that would end. But yeah, that's it for today. Oops. Turn off! There we go. <laughs>